What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dama Talk. This is the second episode, and yeah, we might as well just jump right into this. Um, I'm gonna start off with the feedback on the first episode here. Um, it seemed like you guys kind of liked it. Um, like I said in that episode, it's not really like a like a podcast necessarily, but it's kind of like a Kanama show slash podcast. So if you guys do like it, obviously tell me down below in this episode. But uh, yeah, um, I'll probably do more of this. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how the podcast kind of evolves. I also want to bring more people on the show. Um, I don't want the show to just be me because that would be kind of sad if I was just by myself every single episode. So if you guys want to see me invite guests on here, it'll probably be like over Discord or Skype or something like that. Um, I could just interview people in the Konama community. That could be cool, I guess. Um, so if you guys want to see me bring on guests, let me know down below too. Um, it's definitely something I want to do. I don't want it to just be me. So I'll probably have people on this show. Uh, if you guys have any, any ideas of who I should bring on that you guys want to hear on this podcast, also let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that's kind of it for the intro. Um, in this week's episode, we're going to be talking about some more Kendama news. It's been like a week since the last episode, I think something like that so there's been a decent amount um i'm just going to be talking about sweets kanamas and analog kanamas in this one unless i'm not actually sure did konami say um i don't think they really dropped anything um i'm pretty sure let's see did they drop stuff they had a sale for black friday but it, i don't really think they dropped much um unless what is this uh, yeah, they actually did. They dropped the Craft Rebel, so we'll start off with that. Um, dang, this is actually really nice. This is my first time looking at this, the Craft Rebel. Um, obviously, the Craft Shape looks sick. Um, not the Craft Shape, the Shift Shape is what I meant to say. Um, it's kind of like that. The, uh, the stuff that Grain Theory kind of popularized. The, what's it called? I can't remember the name of this type of wood again. But yeah, it's super sick. Um, you got the red and the black. Looks super clean, bro. Dang, that's that's nice. That's nice. Tama with the two burn stripes too. So Kendama Yusei did actually drop something. My mistake. I feel like I always overlook Kendama Yusei. Um, let's see if, you know, let's just... Let's just see if Green Theory dropped anything. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but I might be wrong. Actually, maybe they did. We'll see here, we'll see. Did they drop anything for Black Friday? Um, they dropped the Hone Boots mod, which it's not really anything new. Um, so Green Theory really didn't do much. So now let's actually talk about Sweets Kendamas. Okay, Sweets Kendamas. Last episode, I talked about the Coop mod. Um, but when I talked about it then, they didn't actually have the video out and they didn't have all the details out. So now I'm actually going to talk about the details of the Coop mod. Of course, you guys know, uh, Coop dropped a video with it. And honestly, it's one of the craziest videos I've ever seen. Lots of you guys said I was overreacting, reacting to that edit. I don't think I was overreacting at all. Like that edit was actually like the, the literally the best edit I've ever seen. Like, I still feel that way. Like, that's how good it is. Like, I could, bro, I could just talk about the edit forever. I'm not going to, but like, man, it was good. But uh, yeah, we got some more info on the Coop mod. Of course, you guys have already seen it. Um, it's actually glow in the dark. So I didn't, I don't think I talked about it the first time I talked about it. So it's glow in the dark, which is dope. Uh, I watched the unboxing too um, for the Coop Ready Pro mod. Coop gave some insight on it. I didn't realize that the CE logo was actually a power button just on the side, like rotated. I didn't realize that at first, but it definitely is, um, which is dope. Uh, Coop ready on the, the Ken, the signature and the classic spot. Uh, definitely a classic spot. The first Sweets Pro Mods did that, I think. So I like that Coop kind of took us back to the classics with that one. Um, 
on the top i didn't realize what the top part was at first but it's actually like if you know those cutting boards that are kind of green colored this kind of color uh coop said it's inspired by that and by his creativity which is cool um what else what else yeah i, st I just still don't know how i feel about the flames but they've kind of grown on me a little bit i'm not sure if i fully like them but like they're they've grown on me that's all i'm gonna say i'm not sure if i if i really like them yet but we'll see um i didn't cop a pro mod i'm gonna see if they still have them in stock um let's see guys let's do a quick search quick google search um i doubt they're still in stock i said i was gonna cop one but like it's just i just didn't get around to it guys i just i just didn't do it so uh we'll see here we'll see um where do i find the pro mods guys help me wait what they're they call they're co bruh, they're collaborating with the minnesota wild that's i did not know that that's cool that's actually pretty freaking cool they're collaborating with an nhl team nice yeah i don't think the kubernetes pro mods are in stock anymore which sucks like i said i was gonna cop one but i don't know guys shoot me kill me oh pro bro why did i say that it's probably gonna get demonetized now i'm gonna leave that in because it's a podcast and i'm gonna test and see if this gets de demonetized or not it probably will so we'll see um let's move on to the next stuff here so enough of the coop mod definitely a super sick dama um let's move on analog also dropped some dope stuff on black friday or as they call it flack friday um we dropped a whole new line of stuff uh let me just try and go through this here um we dropped four new c shapes which is dope a new squab and a 10 percent bigger dama that's called the troll guys we did a 10% bigger. Um, let me see if I can find, yeah. So this, uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay, I'm gonna give my thoughts on these later too. You guys saw the unboxing of these. This one, the Cheshire Cat is 3% bigger. This is a normal size squab. As you can see, classic, 3% bigger. This one is 10% bigger. So that's like actually quite a bit bigger. So um, I'm gonna check if these are still in stock right now. I don't think they are. I'm pretty sure they sold out overnight, which is insane. And yes, they did. These sold out overnight. Every single Dama sold out. That is insane. So we got, uh, let's just go through each one here, I guess. Um, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got the trolls, obviously full beach, 10% bigger. Um, super sick and the this is only a test on the bottom is not in that font which is dope i guess i don't know um got untitled which is dope the uh, white or the cream kind of half split really like that one we got what else incognito which i think this one's my favorite actually the matte black half split and then you got the ooh, and then you got the freaking the gloss black tracking dot that looks super clean i really like how that looks uh what else was there there was the smogularity wait wait what did i miss this one um okay so yeah this one's just a normal squab like i thought um it is one sec yeah normal squab beach ken and then we got the irregularity irregular i almost just messed that up um this one's dope black half split three burn stripes on the top you got the tracking dot super sick um i think it's maple ken yeah maple ken beach tama um all of these are sold out which so i don't really know why i'm talking about these but they're dope so i feel like i have to um and yeah this is definitely the best one the quail um oh it's so clean i'll probably try and put some pictures up here so like I said, this isn't fully a podcast, but I feel like you could just listen to it. But I'm also going to have some visual aids as well. Let me scoot over a little bit too. Um, so yeah, the quail, super dope. Definitely my favorite, as it says here, by far a team favorite. 
and you can definitely see why. So yeah, Black Friday from Analog Kanamas did not disappoint, dropped a bunch of new stuff, and yeah, that's that's it for kind of the Kendama news, I guess. I'm gonna talk about these new Damas here, guys. Um, where are the other ones? That's the question. Okay, here they are, here they are. Don't worry, guys, don't worry, I got you. I got you. Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about these Damas here. Um, this is the Fall Dama, of course. You guys, I did an unboxing on these, so you guys have already seen them, but I'm gonna give my thoughts on them. They're all 3% bigger, like I said. Um, the only one I've really played that much is this one right here. I posted a clip on Instagram with it. I really like it. Like, honestly, the the, the ET paint on this one is super sticky. I feel like the, the ET paint has gotten better over the years from Analog, so that's always super nice. Um, of course, the portal doesn't disappoint. Helps for Lunars. Lunar balance is good, of course. I mean, I wasn't really surprised with this. I knew it was going to be good. But yeah, it's just a nice Dama, 3% bigger. Maple Ken, Beach Tama, or Ash Tama, actually. Um, obviously, that colorway is super nice. And yeah, that's, that's kind of my thoughts on this. I need to play it a little bit more to get some more thoughts on it. But um, it is a little bit heavier because it's 3% bigger. So I don't, I'm not really a fan of heavier Damas, but I really like this one. Super dope. Um, like I said, I haven't really played these ones yet. Probably gonna bust out the Sea Monster soon. Uh, Cheshire Cat, I played this one a little bit. This one's definitely the lightest one, so that's why I like it, of course. The Lunar Balance on all of these, I feel like with most Kanamas today, are good, because that's kind of what's expected with Kanamas now. Um, good balances overall stilts good as you can see um yeah it's just it's good for everything like you can't really go wrong with this kendama um stalls are all good you can do juggles nice eight finger string you can pretty much do anything with this and i gotta learn to look at the lens still i've been you doing youtube for like five years and i still look at the screen and not the lens like bruh i don't know what's wrong with me but uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on the Analog Kanamas. Super sick. Um, if you guys haven't tried a C shape or the 3% the bigger shape, definitely go out and cop an Analog. Obviously, they're all sold out right now. Um, but when stuff does drop, be ready to cop. And yeah, that's, that's kind of it for the Analog portion of this. Um, is there any other Kandama news I've missed? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it for the end of the analog stuff. Analog actually has a giveaway going on right now. So go check that out. They're giving away some analog hoodies. Uh, so I don't know where mine is. But if you want to win an analog hoodie, go enter their giveaway on Instagram right now. Um, the deadline is, or the winners are going to be picked, or the giveaway is going to end on Thursday. So you have a little bit of time to go enter that. So go do that. And yeah, let's, I don't really know what else has been going on. Oh, this was the other part I was going to do. Um, so I'm thinking about in each one of these episodes where it's just me, um, I'm going to be doing like a player of the week type thing um, or just player of the episode. Cause I don't know if this is going to be a weekly thing or what, but player of the episode or player of the week or whatever. I'm gonna have to go, um, you guys probably want me to pick like a, a less known person, but I'm actually gonna have to go with Alex Mitchell for this one. Alex Mitchell, and it's basically just for this one trick he posted. I'm gonna just play it right now. Um, it's gonna be on the side here, so check this out. Like, bro. Oh my gosh. Like, bro, what? I don't get how Alex Mitchell does solar flare so easily. Like, the, Alex Mitchell's solar flare is like, bro, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. He does solar flare as easily as I do border balance, maybe. Yeah, I would say that. But, like, it's solar flare, which is so much harder than border balance. But he looks like he just does it so effortlessly. Um, yeah, I feel like I just had to put him in here because of that one clip. 
but like Alex Mitchell boys freaking Alex Mitchell um uh, for the player of the week I'll probably do like less known people normally but for this first one here Alex Mitchell killing it just because of that that first that one clip one clip gets him to be the player of the episode player of the week whatever you want to call it and I don't really know what else to do for this episode that's kind of all I had planned um it is kind of a short episode so yeah we went through some kendama news talked about the coop mod a little bit I feel like the kendama community is a little bit stale um there's not that much happening I feel like for me most of it is just from analog maybe that's because I'm sponsored by them but like analog just drops a bunch of stuff so I don't know cute mod you got Alex Mitchell killing it you got analog um yeah that's pretty much it for this second episode of Dama talk here um like I said in the beginning of the episode if you want to see more guests on this uh like I said on discord or skype or wherever um I'm down to bring people on the show but if you guys are down too let me know down below in the comments I know Steve from Analog Kanamas wants to be on the on the on one of these episodes so Steve if you're watching this definitely hit me up and uh you'll be on one of the episodes um so yeah that's that's kind of it for this this second episode of Dama Talk let me know down below if you guys are enjoying this series this podcast slash Kendama show you know I'm just gonna call it not really a podcast just a Kendama show because I'm not uploading it as a podcast it could be just listened to but there is visuals too so it's just a Kendama show um so yeah thank you guys for watching uh make sure to go leave a like down below we're almost at 12k so go subscribe as well and yeah I will see you guys in the next episode of Dama Talk peace